welcome back to Poppins Approved. This is a company called, uh, I'm gonna butcher it, it's a Swedish company. I believe it's called Fjall Raven, and this is the Konkin. You can see right there, there's the name. <laughs> um, I have seen these bags float around for a long time now and finally decided to pick one up for you and try it as a diaper bag. Now this one is actually, I found after I purchased it, it's actually a little bit different than the one I originally intended to get. Here's like some pictures of all of the bags that they carry. The one right over here is actually the one that I grabbed. It's the um, number, Konkin number two. So I guess it's a tiny bit bigger than their classic one, which is the one I originally intended to get. That one is that yellow one there at the top. The handles are actually the same as like their, the material they use for like their backpack straps. Um, but on this one, which is called the number two, it has leather straps here, it has a leather logo, and then there's just some like little leather um, detailing here. And I guess it's just a tiny bit bigger. The classic one can fit like a 13 inch laptop is what I'm told. And this one fits like a 14 or 15 inch. So even though um, when I picked it up, it wasn't the one I originally intended to grab, um, I actually really like this one. I think the leather handles are really, really nice and durable and they fit really well into your hand. Um, plus it just makes the bag look a little more classy, a little bit nicer. Um, these bags have been around since 1978, if I believe. Yeah, nine, these bags have been around since 1978 um, in Sweden. They developed the them because um, people were having back issues kids were having back issues at school so that is why they have this like interesting back section here the way the backpack straps are laid out make this really really comfortable on your back I was very skeptical of this because there's like no padding here this is not a very thick strap um, but somehow the way that it sits onto your back and the way that they have placed these straps it's actually really really comfortable to wear and then if you didn't want to use these straps if you just wanted to carry this as a tote you can extend this here it has a little clip and this clips back up here at the very top so you can like kind of make the straps tuck into the bag a little bit and be more streamlined with the bag and carry it just with the top grab handles which is pretty cool now there's not a ton of like bells and whistles to this bag um, I think the reason that everyone likes it. It's simple, it's really durable, easy to clean, feels comfortable. It has a unique kind of square shaped look to it with these grab handles at the top. So I'll just kind of jump into it and show you what I've got in here. There are two side pockets here. Um, I have found for myself they don't really fit my water bottles well. Um, once I go into the inside I'll show you what my water bottle kind of looks like trying to go into there but um, they're too small for the water bottles that I have currently. Um, I think maybe like like smaller baby bottles will fit in there but for the water bottles that I use none of them were able to fit but I that's okay I'm not that's not a deal breaker for me I'm fine putting my water bottle in inside of the bag I have put other things that I grab for all the time so I have some hand sanitizer I have a tied to go pen a regular pen and then also some lip gloss in that pocket and you can see it's really easy to get your hand in and out of there it's kind of a deeper pocket which I like because it hides all of those items nothing is going to fall out so I like that and then on the other side I have found that this is the perfect place for my cell phone there's room at the top there's a little bit of room on the sides so I think a lot of cell phones will fit there um, easy grab and go and like I said I like how the cell phone is like really kind of in there so it's not gonna like fall out easily but I love having a slip pocket for my phone because that's something you grab for all the time and then you have one more pocket on the outside of the bag and that is this um, front kind of zip pocket here and in here there's no other like internal organization it's just the pocket so in here I'm keeping my little pouch that holds my earphones I have my um, little Dagny Dover wallet I have some Mentos in here and then I'm also keeping my keys tucked there in the corner something else I wanted to mention is this color is called acorn um, something else that's really cool about this company is they have tons and tons of colors to choose from so um, that's awesome because you'll be really be able to find something that you love and that works best for what you wear and your style so I love that about the company as well um, moving on you have two zipper pulls which is great because these zippers they go all the way down there not to the very very bottom but pretty close I love how wide this opens up but as you can see nothing's really falling out it's all in there pretty secure so that's awesome you have a nice big opening there I'm um, just kind of sitting right here on top I have this little Dagny Dover mesh pouch in there I've got lots of different snacks for the kids then just kind of sitting right here off to the side I have a Jujube small set piece 
in there I just have some toys for um, to keep them busy right here in the front I have another Dagny Dover um, neoprene pouch and in here I have two small um, boogie boards these are also good for entertainment and then um, this one is actually really cool because it is a kind of see-through one there and I have flashcards that go behind it and my son can practice writing his letters and um, it keeps him busy but also learning at the same time. Next I have my um, Lily Jade packing case. This one is the smallest size. I love this because it has a clear front so I can see everything that I need. It's really easy to get to. With this kind of like mustardy yellow color, I actually really love this jade. So um, I decided to put that in there. I think they're very complementary of each other. Anyways, in here I just am keeping like lotion and sunscreen, some medical things, um, Feminine products, chapstick, all that good stuff is easily found in here. Back behind that I have the medium piece from the Lily Jade packing cases and in this one I'm just keeping all my diapering needs. So I have diapers and wipes and then also a little wet bag in there for any wet clothes. As you can see off to the side here I have my 24 ounce water bottle and that fits here perfectly no problem. I still have room on the top so you could fit even a larger water bottle there. And as you can see here the pockets are just too tight to fit the base of this water bottle into. Now back here in the back, this is, I'll just kind of fold this over so you can see it a little bit better. Um, there's the pouch where you can keep some sort of like laptop and right there I have my 14 inch laptop back there. It fits no problem. I'm also keeping in there um, my checkbook and then some coupons. Now this right here is a removable um, pad. Now this is kind of cool. You could maybe use this as like a little changing pad if you want to since I am using it as a diaper bag. Um, but I think it's more to give the bag a little more structure and it also um, is a little more comfortable on your back especially when you're carrying something like a laptop back there but you can see the logo there and it actually says in 1978 we launched Konkin to prevent back problems among Swedish school children many of the early Konkins are still in use today so pretty cool um, little backstory of the company now I believe when you get the classic version of the bag this little um, back padding it looks more like something you would think was packaging and that you would want to throw away um, but I've heard from many people now on YouTube that you want to keep that in there for extra padding on your back. So just something to note if you do end up getting the classic version because the classic version is actually I think around $80 and this one is about 120 to 130 I believe because of the leather detailing. So if you decide to go with the little bit smaller one um, it will not have the leather grab handles or the leather logo and the back padding will be just a little bit different. Fall Raven Konkin <laughs> number two backpack. Hopefully I said all of that correctly. I think it's a pretty cool bag. I especially love this color for fall so it's perfect for this time of year. I feel like it's really cute and different while still being like rugged looking and durable looking and just kind of a awesome throw and go bag. Okay I think that's it. I think that's all the info. So if you have any questions leave them in the comments below. Let me know what you think of this really cool Konkin bag and we will talk to you guys in the next review.